Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Acts chapter 2, 1 and following. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, Are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Perga, Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own languages. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said they have had too much wine. Then Peter stood up among the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These men are not drunk as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. The miracle on the day of Pentecost was phenomenal. The number of foreign languages that were spoken in the hearing of the natives from various countries represented on that day guaranteed that though uh, those who were speaking were Galileans, each foreigner heard them speaking in his or her native language. This same statement is repeated in the verse 8. In fact, we find it three times. Each of us hears them in his own native language. What is it that these disciples were saying? The verse 11 tells us that the onlookers heard them declaring the wonders of God in their own tongues. In one shot, my brothers and sisters, the Almighty God got his word to the world without the internet or social media. The disciples, on the other hand, were enabled by the Holy Spirit to perform a ministry task that they previously were not able to do. This was powerful. It was a powerful manifestation of the ability that the Holy Spirit gives to believers to perform. Loved ones, I encourage you today to tap into the power of the Holy Spirit that is you know, within you and also upon you. The early believers did. They trusted the Lord and obeyed his instruction to wait in the city because there he would demonstrate his power through them. You are part of this spirit-filled, spirit-empowered community. God blesses his people individually so that they can contribute corporately for the good of the kingdom. In that way, he blesses the community in general. When God empowers you, it is for the common good. So, let's seek him today with that understanding. The church is waiting 
on your empowerment. The kingdom of God is waiting on your empowerment. The world is waiting as well. Let's make this a priority today as we seek God in faith for the empowerment that he has promised to all of us as believers. It's not just for the early believers, but for us as well. And for those of you who know that God has empowered you, walk in that anointing. Walk in that empowerment and do the work God has called you to do. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. And if you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. If you've not yet gotten your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership, today is your day to get your copy on Amazon. The link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. For those of you who will communicate with us during the month of June, we will make the book available to you from any one of our partners. If you're in Jamaica, the Montego Bay, Waltham Park, Mandeville, Sterling Castle, New Testament Churches of God, also the bookshop at the head office of the New Testament Church of God, located in Roden, Spen, Old Harbor. They all carry the title, and if you connect with them, we arrange for you to get your book at a 50% discount. If you attend the National Convention of the Church of God in Jamaica, then during Ju the month of July, then you can also get your copy there at a 50% discount. Sure hope that you will uh, make this uh, a, a plan and also tell someone else about it so that they too can get their copy of this book at a 50% discount. We would love to hear from you how core leadership services may journey with you in your local church or organization to raise up leaders for greater and for future leadership responsibilities. We have been connected to a few persons and uh, organizations and churches at the moment and we're journeying with them and we would be delighted to journey with your organization or church as well. Looking forward to hearing from you. We will enjoy that partnership. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, and all of those persons who share your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again on Monday. Shalom.